When an electron is promoted from one energy level to another energy level in an atom, an electronic transition occurs. And there's many orbitals in an atom that an electron can occupy. Some are low energy, some are high energy, but they have specific energies between them. They're quantized energy levels, and an electron will absorb a photon of a specific energy to go from one energy level to another. Let's look at those photon energies. So the energy levels in the atom go as z squared over n squared, r infinity. This quantity tells us the energy level based on n, the principal quantum level. We know r and a mole of r. So r is 2.18 times 10 to, the, 10 to the minus 18th joules, or times Avogadro's number, 312 kilojoules per mole of electrons. So if I'm going to go from one end to another, the change in energy is going to be given by minus z squared, r infinity, times the final state minus the initial state. So if I start here and I emit a photon, the energy difference can be calculated by this expression. This will allow us to take photons that we see being emitted from an atom and correlate those to transitions within the electronic structure. And that's how we'll determine the electronic structure and how we'll learn something about the structure of atoms.